Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Elicliv air quality monitor. And what I want to do today, first of all get it unboxed, set up and see how easy it is to operate. But just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances. There's normally a bit of tech in there as well, like these kind of products. And also I talk about things like vacuum cleaners. So just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. So I know it shouldn't be a bearing on the product, but I must say, I do really like the packaging on this. Uh, the quality on the box is really, really solid. Uh, I know quite a few higher end products are coming in good quality packaging boxes like this. Uh, so when we take the lid off, first of all, we've got the instructions on there. Uh, if you have followed me on YouTube for a while, you will know that I'm not a huge fan of instructions. I quite like to find out how to do things without them. Uh, next thing is, we've just got a little piece of packaging on the top there to stop the screen getting damaged. Uh, that's the, the monitor itself. So we just take the monitor out of there, just be careful. Pop the box to the side and that's it. So that's the little monitor itself. And to turn it on, all you need to do is just press the button on the top. And what you'll find is that it's got a really nice clear LED display in the middle here. So essentially this is a CO2 monitor and what this is showing you in the middle here, this is showing you the PPM or the parts per million as they call it. So this is how many parts of carbon dioxide there are in one million parts of air. Uh, I know it's a, a little bit complicated to explain, uh, but really the, the main thing to look at is the, the number on here. So it actually goes, the, the range of it for this monitor is between 400 parts per million up to 5,000. Uh, now I know it's quite a, quite a wide spectrum, uh, but essentially what this will do is, first of all, 400, anything in between 400 and 1,000 parts per million is considered normal. Uh, I've had it sat on the, the worktop here and just for a moment, because what you'll find is when you first unbox it, you ideally need to leave it to calibrate uh, for normally a minute or two, uh, so I, I just took a break for a minute, had it sat on the worktop, uh, which I will do in a moment just to show you. And then it's go between 1,000 and 2,000 parts per million. That's where the, the quality of the air in the room isn't quite as good as it should be, and that can be associated with a little bit of drowsiness or light headaches. Uh, and what you will find is that this has actually got a, an alarm built in, so as soon as it gets to 1,000 parts per million, then an alarm will sound. So that's really, really good on this. Uh, and then as you go between two and 5,000, that's where things can start to get serious. Uh, you do really need to get something checked out because again, the quality there will not be that good. And really it's not safe to be in the room. So I've just popped it on the worktop for a moment. Um, it doesn't help handling it uh, because you will find that the rate of it does shoot up pretty quickly. Uh, so I just popped on the worktop here just to show you the, the next part. Uh, so apart from the parts per million, as it's showing here, um, at the bottom left hand side, you've got the temperature of the room. So at the moment it's 18 degrees centigrade. Or what you can do is you can actually switch it to Fahrenheit as well. Just press the button on top there once, and that will switch between centigrade and Fahrenheit. So that's very good. Also, it shows you the humidity level in the room. As you can see here at the moment, it's at 52%, which, I mean, that's okay. You do have a choice to turn the alarm on and off. Uh, if you want to turn it either on or off, then you just press that button on the top twice. Just press it quickly. And you will find that the little speaker on the top there will change. That's it. And the other thing you've got is the battery status indicator. So at the moment, uh, to be fair, I've just taken it out of the box. I haven't charged it. But the other thing you do get in the box is the little charger. So that just plugs into a USB and on the back of the monitor then you'll see you've got the, the little port there so that just plugs in at the back and then just plug it into any USB socket and that normally takes I'd say around an hour, hour and a half to charge. I must admit I do like products that have a rechargeable battery in it. Uh, there's nothing worse than just using say a couple of AAA or AA batteries because what you will find uh, with a lot of products they tend to use them pretty quickly and then you've got to go and buy other batteries which is a a continuing cost of the product. So with this one, it does come with a 1600 milliamp hour battery already built in. And as I say, normally after an hour or so of charging, then you can actually get around three hours of use. 
When I'm talking about products like this, I would like to do a bit of research beforehand, just trying to get an idea of some of the technical side as well. And apparently this has something called an NDIR sensor, a non-dispersed infrared sensor. And I'll be honest, I was going to try and remember it to talk about it, but there's no way that I would remember this. So an NDIR sensor is a detector that measures how much infrared light a specific wavelength is absorbed by the surrounding air. This measurement is then used to calculate the concentration of a specific gas. There's no way, as I say, I would be able to remember that. So I must say I've just had my laptop open there to uh, try and explain it. But for somebody simple like me, what the NDIR sensor means is that it's a very accurate way of measuring CO2 levels. So if you're as impressed as I am with this air quality monitor, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Elliclive air quality monitor. I always knew it was going to be quite a quick video. Uh, to be fair, the setup process was really easy. It was a case of taking it out of the box and switching it on. That's pretty much it. Uh, clearly at some point you will need to recharge it, but I've showed you how to do that, so that's really easy. Uh, but as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any questions on it, then just pop it in the comments below, because uh, I'm going to be definitely going to be using this. I think it's very useful. But all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. Uh, again, if you have got any comments on it, if you have got one of these at home, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.